What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kayla. If you're new here and just clicking on this video today, thank you so much for joining. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys different hairstyles that I found off of Pinterest or that are just super like trendy and popular right now. Some of these I do myself on like a daily basis um, and some of them I've never really tried before. So I'm really excited to try those. Okay, so without further ado, let's get into it. So for the first hairstyle, I'm gonna actually be curling my hair and just kind of telling you guys how I curl my hair. I decided to do this for the first hairstyle just because I kind of want my like base hair to be curly just cause right now my hair is a little bit like in different little waves as you can see and it just doesn't look the best with all these hairstyles. I feel like curly hair is a good base for all of these. So we're gonna curl our hair. <laughs> I'm going to be using the Oh geez, it's literally like, <laughs> it's wiped off, but I'm pretty sure it's like the, it's it's Conair and it's like the Infinity Pro or something. It looks like this. It's like the one inch barrel that has like all the rainbow stuff on it. This is my favorite. Any one inch barrel honestly will do great. While we wait for my curling iron to heat up, I am going to section my hair off. So what I usually do is do like half and half. I have like pretty thick hair, but it's not to the point where I have to do it in thirds. So I just do it in halves. So I take about this much hair and then I'm going to do it like reverse. So I'm gonna like, how do I even explain this? <laughs> this is a little hard. <laughs> I just basically like just curl your hair like you usually do like away from your face. And I'm just gonna start like that with the back first piece. Basically, when I'm curling my hair, I like to alternate from going like away from my face and then going like towards my face because I feel like it gives more volume in the hair and it makes it just look better. So as you saw, I went like this way for the first piece and now I'm going to go the opposite way and go this way. the very front piece um, I don't like to start all the way from like the top I like to kind of go down a little bit like right there and kind of just make like a loose curl by the face because I don't like like a huge curl by my face okay so this is what my everyday curly hair looks like that's how I curl my hair and this is the first hairstyle <laughs> I feel like this one is pretty popular right now and it's the two braids on the face i've actually like i don't think i've i've done a different variation of this which i'm going to show you guys which like how i like kind of like to do it personally um but i've never done the one that's like just straight braids down i'll put a photo up here she just takes like the very like front piece of her hair i'm pretty sure and then just splits it into three for a braid i'm just gonna secure it with a little rubber band okay so this is what it looks like for me personally i don't think that this really fits my myself for some reason i don't really know it just doesn't really like I, maybe it's like my forehead <laughs> i'm gonna show you my way how i like to do it i kind of switch it up just a little bit and i'll show you guys how i like to do it a little bit differently <laughs> So what you're gonna do is you're going to get some hair. I like to get a little bit more hair than the first one that I just barely did. And basically you're gonna split it into two pieces like this. And I'm gonna basically do a rope braid. I'm gonna try to explain this as best as I can, but basically you take the front piece and put it over the back piece. And then every like under piece, you're gonna add more hair in. So. As you can see I just added some hair in and then you just basically twist it over top and then add a little bit more hair in and I'm gonna leave like kind of like this part out so that I kind of have some framing pieces and then I'm actually gonna like stop right here and I'm going to take like the bottom piece that I would pick up with 
this bottom piece um but not like add it to the bottom piece this probably, probably makes, makes no sense. sense but basically i have three pieces this bottom bottom piece right here is what i would be adding into this middle piece but i'm not gonna add it in i'm gonna just act like i'm going to braid it so i'm just gonna take like these three pieces and start braiding this braid and just secure with a rubber band at the bottom. And then this one, I really like to pull the pieces out um, and make it look bigger and fuller. Pull little framing pieces out from the front right here and kind of like down through my face. And that's what it looks like. I feel like this one is so cute. I'm gonna do the other side real fast. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I feel like it looks very like elegant and like princessy looking, maybe bridal looking. I'm not really sure, but okay, time for the next hairstyle. So for this one, I'm going to be doing this little bubble ponytail kind of thing. So you're just gonna do a ponytail like you usually would in the middle kind of in your head. And then all you're gonna do is just get some hair ties and separate some pieces i'm gonna try to use these little ones just because i feel like it might look a little bit better but i don't know how well it's gonna work took just these little rubber bands like these little little black ones and i tied them around my hair twice and basically all you're gonna do is you're going to like spread the bubble <laughs> so this is what it looks like from behind I think this is such a different and like cute little hairstyle and I feel like it just looks so cute. So for this next one, we're gonna do a messy bun, but we're gonna put some braids as you can see in the picture. So first I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pull out, I'm gonna put a little bit more than I did for those other ones, probably like this much and do that on both sides and then you're going to put your hair in a high bun okay <laughs> see i really don't think that these two braids are my my style but uh. <laughs> okay so this is what this hairstyle looks like on me um i don't know i don't really know if i would really like you know do this next one guys so this one i really like to do it's just like basically a half up half down she kind of did hers she did hers very messy i like to do actually is go from like the inner corners of my eyes and kind of go up on both sides and meet in the middle before i tie it up i'm actually going to take out my pieces just because i feel like it's easier and sometimes it messes the hairstyle up when you pull the pieces out when you have your hair tied up. So I'm just gonna pull out those pieces right now. All you're gonna do is get a hair tie and tie it in a little ponytail. That's what this one looks like. I feel like this one's super cute. I feel like it adds so much to like an outfit for some reason. Like I feel like it just makes your hair look so cute and volumized. I feel like it looks good with like everybody. This one um, is one that I have done before. I don't do it often. This is the inspo pick, although I'm going to change it a little bit. I'm not gonna do that bubble braid thing. Um, I'm going to change it up a little bit. It's kind of like the same concept, but basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna do like kind of the same idea as when I was doing the braid off to the side with my little rope braid kind of thing. Basically, you're gonna do the same thing, but you're going to do it like with all of your hair. So I'm gonna just act like I'm doing like a whole braid. What I'm gonna do is I'm just going to get a ponytail and I'm going to secure it off and make little pink tails. <laughs> I feel like pink tails are like kind of in right now, like they're coming back in. I used to do pink tails like all the time when I was younger. I'm going to pull it all the way through and kind of make a little pink tail. I'm just gonna pull some pieces out, make it messy. We're gonna do the other side. Fun fact, 
I have no clue how to French braid. <laughs> this is what it looks like. Definitely very playful, very girly. So the last and final one is going to be this one. It's Bella Hadid. This is a hairstyle that she does like all the time. And I really don't know what to expect. <laughs> I don't know how it's gonna look on me. I personally have never done this hairstyle before and I don't know how well it's going to do. And I don't even know exactly how to do it. Okay, I'm taking the other side of this comb to kind of part my hair. I think what you do is you part your hair over like that and then you take that whole section like out like this and then you're gonna put your hair up top doing hair is a workout you guys look i'm joking did you guys ever get like super um frustrated like doing your hair or even just like brushing your hair when you were little i think there's like a vine out there that's like that girl's like brushing her hair and having like a breakdown I've had those moments before. I'm sure some of you guys have before too. She has a piece like around the ponytail to make it look like it's all her hair. So basically to do that, you're gonna take one of the pieces, like a piece from the back of your ponytail and you're gonna bring it to the front and just basically like wrap it around the ponytail. Okay, now for this, I'm scared to do this, you guys. She just basically has it like, Oh wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's a little messy, but it's actually not that bad. Okay, so I think it's actually kind of cute. I'm I'm kind of impressed. Alrighty, everybody. So that is the end of my video today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys maybe found some inspo that you want to do for your own hair. And I'm glad that I got to try out these hairstyles with you guys today. And if you guys haven't subscribed already to my channel, please, please, please do. Um, it would mean the absolute world to me. It makes me so happy to see you guys liking my videos and subscribing to my channel. So yeah. Also, if you guys have any video recommendations, definitely comment them down below. I have like a huge list and I like to add to it all the time. So I love the recommendations. And that's all for today, you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.